today we're trying to make sense of a trip by a man named Mohammed Ismail uh, to London. Mr. Ismail is the right-hand man to Saif al-Islam al-Qaddafi, who is the son of Colonel Qaddafi. His trip follows the defection of one of Colonel Qaddafi's closest confidants, uh, Musa Kusa. But this appears not to be a defection. According to a friend of uh, Mohammed Ismail in London, uh, he arrived on official business and will be returning to Libya. So the question now is, who sent him and what's his mission? He may have come on behalf of the whole family. It's also possible that he was sent on behalf of Saif al-Islam alone. It would seem logical that he had been sent to try to propose some sort of a truce or resolution of the conflict here with the Western powers. Uh, it's not clear whether that uh, proposal would involve some sort of a handover of power from Colonel Gaddafi or whether that would mean a handover to his son, uh, Saif. Saif, for a long time, has been the foremost advocate of a transition to a constitutional democracy of some kind here in Libya. But since the Civil War or the Revolution, depending on your point of view, uh, broke out, uh, he has been absolutely lockstep with his father in terms of vowing swift and stern retribution uh, against the rebels in the East. Uh, it's also not clear whether the West will uh, approach this as a subject for negotiation between the Western powers, France, Britain, and the U.S. on one side, and Gaddafi on the other. In the eyes of the West, this is a revolution, a democracy movement led by the people in eastern Libya. So the negotiations to resolve the impasse should take place between the people in eastern Libya and the Gaddafi government. 